Once a hallmark of everyone's Microsoft Office experience, it's been a while since our favourite paperclip has offered advice on grammar, formatting, and everything in between. So what actually happened to Clippy? Why did Microsoft introduce the character and then kill him off again in the space of just a few years? And how is Clippy now making a comeback via Twitter more than 10 years after he disappeared? Here's how it happened. Back in the mid-90s, computers were still seen very much as a business device and were rarely in family homes. Hoping to change all that was Microsoft's first attempt at building a virtual assistant, Bob, and his cartoon sidekick, Rover the Dog. Perhaps unsurprisingly, most users found the software patronizing and the program was discontinued after less than a year. But Microsoft still felt that more could be done to bridge the gap between the latest technology and a whole generation of adults who were illiterate with computers, and they believed the solution to their problem was Clippy, the assistant first released with the 1997 version of Windows Office. Officially called Clippit, the paperclip was the default option to help you out with the likes of Word, PowerPoint, or Excel, and with input from social psychologists from Stanford University, was carefully designed to be as useful as possible. Clippy would bounce onto your screen when opening a new document to provide advice on everything from page layout to space and could be animated to bring some much-needed excitement to your tasks. What's more is that Clippy wasn't the only choice for this role, as some of the other friendly options for your assistant included Rover, Merlin the Wizard, and Genius, a caricature of Albert Einstein. So despite Microsoft's best intentions, exactly what happened to send this piece of folded-up wire to the recycle bin? To be honest, most users simply described Clippy as useless. At best, it was a light-hearted but ineffective animation in the corner of your screen, and at its worst it was deterring customers from using Microsoft Office and pushing them to rival applications. As you can imagine, the AI of 25 years ago was much more primitive than Siri and Alexa are today, and most suggestions made by Clippy were completely irrelevant, making the Help tab a much more efficient way of resolving any issues. The assistant's most infamous interruption was to ask if you were writing a letter any time you typed out the word dear on screen, a suggestion even mocked by Microsoft themselves in their own spoof ad campaign in 2001, accompanying the announcement that Clippy would no longer be on by default. Their excuse for PR purposes was that Office XP is so easy to use that Clippy is no longer necessary or useful, another way of saying that Windows users were glad to finally see the back of it. Clippy continued to lurk in the settings of Microsoft Office for a few more years though. That was until the feature was discontinued altogether in 2007. But fast forward to 2021 and Clippy is making a comeback. Not as a virtual assistant, Cortana has that covered, which you can learn about in our dedicated video, but in the form of an emoji on Microsoft 365. The company tweeted back in July that with their new set of 3D emojis coming up, they would feature the character as the replacement for the paperclip if they received over 20,000 likes. Of course, the tweet's likes flew past the 100,000 mark, and in doing so, resurrected the avatar that hadn't been seen for over 20 years. Don't forget to leave a comment about your Clippy experiences, or what video you'd like to see next. That's how it happened, and thanks for watching.